I'm Christina Howern, and this is probably the ickiest story that I have ever had to report. I'm in Lauren Park, and I'm actually using an umbrella, and check this out. I don't know if you can see that. It's what has just landed on my umbrella. It is a canker worm, and I am so thankful for this coverage, but this is what the people that live in this neighborhood have had been dealing with for the past couple of days. Thousands upon thousands of canker worms that are eating up their trees. They're climbing up. They're getting up to their trees. They're eating their leaves and they're leaving a trail of disgusting feces in the wake. All of the ground here is pure slush from all of the feces. It's gotten so bad outside that the neighbors here say they don't even want to leave their homes. I have shoveled feces off of my driveway, like puddles of feces off my driveway. It's just disgusting. You can't sit outside. You can't entertain. If you own a pool like Rosalind does, her pool's still shut. Like we had a gorgeous weekend and she can't use her pool because you're running hydro to keep the, the pools clean. It's ridiculous. Canker worms only live for about a year, but have 10 year cycles and they can get pretty bad for two to three years. 2017 appears to be one of those years. If you can see this one in the back behind my garage, mm -hmm. that tree we've been told is, is close to 200 years old. It is in full bloom. It looks like these maples over here. It's beautiful. And it looked like that a week ago. And now the canker worms have come out in full force and they've eaten so much of the leaves. Canker worms tend to favor hardwoods like oak and maple, and when they finish feeding in mid-June, they go back underground. They emerge in the fall as moths. The trees in this neighborhood have been particularly targeted over the past couple of years. Gypsy moths and canker worms have been tearing away at their leaves with very little recovery time in between. Mississauga is spraying for the worms, but only on the ground level, and only city owns trees. Our tree canopy has been under stress, whether it's drought, ice storms, pests, you name it. it in this area especially, which is our pride and joy, we're, we're under stress. And I'm going to be introducing a motion on Wednesday that is going to bring in spring for 2018 and also on a regular basis going forward, say every seven years or when outbreaks require it. Okay, so it is so bad here that even with an umbrella, a worm has landed. As you can see on my jeans, there are two of them. I am actually freaking out a little bit. Um, so I can't even imagine what the people that live in this neighborhood have to deal with on a daily basis. The hope is, that, of course, that the aerial spraying will be in place by next year so they won't be dealing with this and I won't be standing out here covered in icky, creepy crawler worms. Now, this story was brought to us by a viewer. If you see news in the making, here's how you can reach us. We'll be sure to get back to you.